Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to expand f of x which is x into 2 pi minus x as Fourier series in the interval 0 comma 2 pi. And after that, we are going to deduce the sum of the series. Now as a first part, we are going to write the formula for the f of x as a Fourier series which is a0 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Now for a naught the formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx and we are going to substitute f of x from the given question which is x into 2 pi minus x x into 2 pi minus x then we have dx let's multiply this inside so 2 pi x minus x square so we have integral 0 to 2 pi and outside we have 1 by pi and this term we are going to integrate which is 2 pi x integration is x square by 2 minus x square is x cube by 3. We have 0 to 2 pi. So we can cancel this. Now substituting 2 pi for x. First term will be pi into 2 pi whole square minus 2 pi whole cube by 3 and lower limit is 0. So now this is 1 by pi, pi into 4 pi square minus 8 pi cube by 3. Now this is 1 by pi. We are going to take LCM which is 3. So 4 3s are 12 and pi cube minus 8 pi cube. So totally this is 1 by pi into 4 pi cube by 3. After cancelling this, the term remaining is 4 pi square by 3. Now, we have to find an. The formula for an is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx dx. And this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi and f of x is x into 2 pi minus x x into 2 pi minus x into cos nx dx let's multiply this inside so 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi 2 pi x minus x square into cos nx dx. Here we take this as u and this as v. We are going to use Bernoulli's formula. So u dash is 2 pi minus 2x. u double dash is minus 2. u triple dash is 0. And v1 is integration of cos nx which is sin nx by n. And v2 is minus cos nx by n square and v3 is minus sin nx by n cube. So now using Bernoulli's formula, the formula is integral uv dx becomes uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 dot dot dot. Now substituting this u which is 2 pi x minus x square into v1 is sin nx by n minus u dash which is 2 pi minus 2x into v2 which is minus cos nx by n square and third term u double dash which is minus 2 into v3 minus 
sin nx by n cube and on the whole we have 0 to 2 pi now substituting the upper limit and also we have 1 by pi outside now 1 by pi then substituting the upper limit 2 pi here sin to n times of 2 pi is always 0 so first part is 0 then second part when I put 2 pi here this becomes minus 4 pi so 2 pi minus 4 pi is minus 2 pi into cos of 2 pi is always 1 and there is a minus outside so minus 1 by n square and this is sin nx so when I put 2 pi it is going to be 0 so I put 0 when I put lower limit sign terms are 0 only the middle term will come and in the middle term when I put 0 here the remaining is only 2 pi and cos nx when I put 0 it is 1 so minus 1 by n square and already there is a minus sign here when I put the lower limit so totally this is 1 by pi there are 3 minus so total it is minus 2 pi by n square again there are 3 minus so minus 2 pi by n square by adding this minus 4 pi by pi into n square by cancelling this pi we get minus 4 by n square this is our an now coming to the next part you have to find bn which is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx and substituting f of x we have x into 2 pi minus x into sin nx dx now let's multiply this inside so 1 by pi integral 0 to pi 2 pi x minus x square into sin nx dx so this is our u and v now u dash is 2 pi minus 2 x u double dash is minus 2 and u triple dash is 0 v1 is minus cos nx by n v2 further integration minus sin nx by n square and v3 is cos nx by n cube now coming to the formula let us write the formula here which is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 dot 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 so this is 1 by pi u is 2 pi x minus x square into minus cos nx by n minus u dash is 2 pi minus 2x into minus sin nx by n square then plus u double dash is minus 2 into v3 which is cos nx by n cube and we have limit 0 to 2 pi when I substitute upper limit 2 pi the first term this will become 4 pi square because 2 pi into 2 pi 4 pi square minus again 2 pi whole square is 4 pi square into cos of 2 pi is always 1 so anyway this first term is fully going to be 0 minus 2 pi minus 4 pi when I substitute 2 pi here it is minus 4 pi and sign term anyway it is going to be 0 and last term is minus 2 into 1 by n cube now coming to lower limit minus here two x terms are there so totally it is 0 here sign term is there so totally it is 0 this alone minus 2 by n cube because cos 0 is 1 
now this is 1 by pi first term is 0 and second term is 0 and this is minus 2 by n cube and plus 2 by n cube and even here we find 2 by n cube minus 2 by n cube so it got cancelled so totally we get 0 now substituting in this formula f of x is a naught by 2 here a naught is 4 pi square by 3 so 4 pi square by 3 by 2 so 4 pi square by 3 by 2 I multiply here plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n a n is minus 4 by n square so minus 4 by n square into cos n x and b n is 0 so even if I write here it is going to be 0 anyway the entire term is 0 so we left with f of x equal to I can cancel this so 2 pi square by 3 minus 4 can be taken out sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity cos nx by n square so this is our expansion series now we have to deduce the value of the given series 1 by 1 square plus 2 by 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square all this so I have to take x as 0 and 0 is the extreme value in the interval 0 comma 2 pi so for finding f of 0 that is f of x at x equal to 0 we have to use f of 0 plus f of 2 pi whole divided by 2 so our f of x is given as x into 2 pi minus x so when I put f of 0 here everything is going to be 0 when I put 2 pi that is also 0 so totally this is 0 so in LHS here it is 0 equal to 2 pi square by 3 minus 4 and this we are going to write it as 1 sigma of 1 by n square because cos 0 is 1 so this alone we have now taking this entire term to the other side 4 sigma 1 by n square where sigma ranges from n equal to 1 to infinity so n equal to 1 to infinity and this 2 pi square by 3 is as it is and now this 4 I can take to the other side denominator so sigma 1 is equal to n is equal to 1 to infinity sigma of 1 by n square is 2 pi square by 4 into 3 we can cancel this so this is pi square by 6 now totally this expansion when I put n as 1 it is 1 by 1 square when I put n as 2 1 by 2 square when I put n as 3 1 by 3 square when I put n as 4 1 by 4 square dot 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 that is equal to pi square by 6 so in the question they gave 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square is pi square by 6 and which we got it here so we got the answer.